listen, friend, hear me out, though. Hear me out, though. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, the coverage of Megan and Harry genuinely doesn't make sense. And it's one of the reasons why I stopped making videos as, like, often as I did. There are no stories here, right? There are no stories here. There is just obsessive insanity, okay? So you have Harry and Megan minding their business, doing what they want to do. They're on a completely different continent in a completely different country. Not at all being funded by the UK taxpayers, the, the British royal family, none of that, right? They are minding their business in a completely different country in a completely different time zone. And then you have the UK media also minding their business and then turning around and saying they're just attention seekers. Are they though? Are they though? Because last I checked, they were minding their business. You have been kicking, screaming, throwing up, crying about an award that has absolutely nothing to do with the UK or the British royal family. The thing that you should be focused on, okay? This is an American award given by Americans. Cry about it, right? Which, I mean, to be fair, they are. And they're so upset about it that they are demanding this man turn this award down. Because what? It makes you feel bad? Like the fact that you um, cannot accept that they're not being rejected? And please forgive me, I think it is Ariel. I'm going to attack her. Because she brought up a really good point. She was like, <laughs> they thought that Harry and Meghan were going to get the J-Lo treatment. And no, right? Because they actually have talent worth listening to and looking at. They're actually out here doing good things for people. Like, you try, they, they try to diminish their work, but it's like the work speaks for themselves. Y'all sound crazy crying about these people. But like I said, this is absolutely obsessive. Like, does it make sense to write article after article about a stress, a stress patch? Because listen, I haven't forgotten. Like, this still bothers me. These people went on and on about this stupid patch. For what? There was no story here. The story here is the UK media's obsession with how this woman breathes, what she wears, where she goes, what she eats. That is not normal. This has surpassed this, them doing this for clicks and views. You are feeding into people's obsession with this woman because there's no story here. Just like there was no story here with Harry jogging in a jacket. Why are there multiple articles written about this man jogging? This isn't a story. You are feeding people's insanity. You are feeding people's hatred. You are feeding people's obsession, an obsession that you created out of nothing. There's no controversy here. There are no more stories around Harry and Meghan. They're not doing anything. They aren't doing anything, right? What they're doing now is what they did last year and the year before and the year before that. Year before that. They're not doing anything new. They're doing all of the same stuff in the same vein. Okay, might be in different places, right? But the work that they have done has remained the same. There are no more stories. So what is with this very weird obsession with these two? Oh, wait, this is the obsession, right? This is them continuously trying to discredit Harry because they keep coming out with their illegal, their illegal doings, right? Hacking into people's phones, emails, whatever else, allegedly, right? You doing all of this alleged crimes and you're trying to discount this man that you victimize and you continue to try to victimize. So yeah, I'm gonna keep eating these people up because something's wrong with them.